Hello, Helen Chin Lu here, Certified Reflexologist, Certified Energy Medicine Practitioner, Reiki Master and Teacher, the owner of The Healing Place and The Healing Place Energy School. A YouTube subscriber wrote to me and asked, Helen, when I wake up in the morning, my back is really stiff and what can you do to help alleviate that through reflexology? So here I am thinking, okay, of course, I told him, well, it's really best if you get up and start stretching. And you can even stretch while you're in bed. You could bring both the, lying down, I'm just going to give you a tip. I can't do a demonstration because it's just not possible right now. If you're lying down, bring both of your knees. You're going to hug both of your knees and bring it up to your chest and hold for at least, I would say, if you have no time, for 60 seconds. But if you don't have time for 60, you can do it for 10. You'll be surprised how that one movement is going to relax your back. So for those people who do have a stiff back or achy back, let me give you this reflexology tip that you could do in your hands. See, here's my hands. We are going to work on the back, which is the dorsal side of your hand. And then what I'm going to show you too is a demonstration how to work the spine. The back. This is not only to help you with your back, but your back, the top of your hands, it's also addressed lymphatics and also circulation. So you're doing a whole bunch of things when you even press on your back. Uh, so what you want to do, I'm going to write where you could do it this way, in between every single finger. And then after you're done, you're going to work across horizontally because you want to work the bones and get into all kinds of nooks and crannies in your back. I usually do this with lotion. You can do this with dry skin. And what you're going to do, I'm going to grab my lotion here. Uh, I have a little bit of almond oil that I use on clients. So squirt a little bit. You're going to rub the whole uh, top of your hands. You're going to do one hand after the other because obviously you can't do both hands at the same time. No one's that talented unless you have a third hand. <laughs> so I use my knuckle a lot versus my fingertips. It all depends what you're comfortable. And all you're going to do is work all the way down to your wrist in between every single hand. I mean, I should say in between every single finger. It's not every other hand. And what I like to do is I use my knuckles and I'm pushing. See how I'm pretty forceful and I'm going all the way down towards my wrist. This will also help with sinuses, lymphatics, um, circulation. It will also drain your sinuses. It also touches the top of your entire back, the back of the organs. So there's a lot of things that goes on as you're addressing the back. And then I want to come back and work the spine. The spine is, this is the top of your head. Tailbone ends about here. And just imagine the length of your spine. So since I'm working on your left hand here right now, this is the left side of your spine. And you're going to do the same thing. It doesn't matter if you begin from the top or the bottom. So here's my pen. You'll want to focus from here all the way down. I would say about the tailbone ends right about here because I have a pen that's not running too well. And again, you could do it with your thumb. I'm going to show you quick. Get up really close. You cool. Ouch! That's like my tailbone. I think I'm sitting way too much. And you're going to work all the way up to the top of your head. Do this three to four times in one direction or you could in, in reality it doesn't really matter which direction you're doing it and then if you want to use your knuckle because not everyone have uh, has strength in their thumb and using your knuckle you're going to go in and dig just be a little bit forceful and this is going to bring circulation to your spine it also going to open up your chakras so the energy will start to flow because your spine has 22 sets of nerve endings that's attached to every organ and gland. So give this a try. 
do it every morning and again do both hands because your right hand obviously um, well not obviously corresponds to the right side of your body and your left to the left so this is Helen Chin Lu from the healing place I wish you a good day if you like my video give me a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel bye bye